I'm gonna be making my tea here first. But, uh, yeah. uh ooh, okay, that's perfect. Um, but yeah, this video is also gonna be for my doctor to see. My general practitioner, doctor, GP. Um, yeah, um, so, I want to tell you that I'm not over-exaggerating here, and you got to think of it this way, too. I have autism, and it's really, really hard for me to keep cool and calm. Really, really, really hard. I, I don't rationalize. Like, if you say, go for a walk, Nora, you know, do something physical, you know, or have a time out, you know. I, my mind doesn't think, hey, time out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You feel, you're, feel like you're getting angry? Step back. I don't think that way. So I don't know how therapy is going to help me if I can think that way. I can be in therapy for months, years and years and years, trying to solve my problem with my anger, and, and it's still going to be on me. It's going to be here. So, um, I really got to stay focused with therapy if I don't want to be on medication, which I don't. And why I don't want to be on medication is because, okay, I made a list here. I made a list here. Let me find it. I'm tired all the time. I would have constipation, feeling so bored with my life. Like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. All I want to do is feel like I want to sleep to escape my boredom. I'm so fucking bored. That's how I felt. Even a friend on Facebook said I looked overly medicated. And that was when I was on Abilify for like five MB. And that's how I looked. I looked like I was so overly medicated. Even a small dose like that. Okay. My body can't handle things like that. My body just can't. No matter how hard I tried. And I was on it for a month. Or was it 10 MG? I can't remember. Whatever. But yeah. My, bo my body just can't tolerate it so okay microwave for 45 minutes in your tray oh I need two big eggs okay says I gotta crack the two eggs okay so um sorry I'm doing this siren thing so I don't know how I'm going to control my temper if I don't rationalize? How am I going to control my temper if all the therapies in the fucking world won't work? How am I going to do that? Just how? <sighs> you know, I was like thinking, hey, try hypnotism. That probably won't work either because I tried that just for fun. I think it was like 2013 or 14 at the county fair here. I tried that and it didn't work when everybody else got hypnotized. So I don't know how hypnotism would work for me with being, not being so angry. So that's out of the option. And I can't do group therapy now because of COVID. So that's out of the option now. And would a group therapy help, or would I still be in the same boat? And someone on Facebook says, why don't you do this test to 
determine what medication is right for you. I looked into that, and that's like around two or three hundred dollars, and I can't afford that. I told them that back, and and they said make sure your insurance um covers it because this is very very important to you, you know, if you want your anger gone. So, and I heard stories on Facebook, I think it was, or YouTube, I don't know which, where this lady took medication for the first time, and and she was way worse than what she was before. She felt like she wanted to fucking kill herself when she was on them. It was way, 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 way worse for her. And that's another fear I have. If I end up like that, then I'll be in worse shape than known mankind. Not over-exaggerating here. I gotta put a stop to this anger one way or the other. I have to do it. I have to. Otherwise, I will be fired with every job out there in the fucking world.